Yes, here's my new short sword that I made. A video to talk about it. Composite Damascus blade, four bars. It's got um, center bars, which are twist counter twists. Well, one's a right hand, one's a left hand twist. At 13 layers, 15 and 20 and 1080. And then, um, say hi, Whitey. <laughs> and then 1400 layer high density uh, edge bars, which create some interesting ribboning effects in the sunlight. It's got chatoyance from hammer blows here and there, creating a shimmer to it. Um, swept out grinds. You can see there my logo is etched right where the guard meets up. The guard itself is machined from wrought iron and uh, then etched for an antique finish, somewhat resembling cast pewter. Yeah, a little bit of a Fleur de Lis inspired pommel here, also an etched machined wrought iron with peened over tang end. Fluted African blackwood, just straight flutes, eight of them. I'll get my hand off of it somewhat here and then you can kind of get the effect of that. Five and a half inches wide approximately at the guard. Out here at the max width of the leaf, about inch and three quarter wide. The blade itself is around 18 inches long. And this has been forge welded bird's beak style um, so that the high layer bars wrap around the core at the tip. Overall, it's just a little over two feet in length. I got it pretty darn sharp now. I named it Aculeus, which is the specific word for a scorpion sting in Latin. And these ends on the quillens are reminiscent to me of the shape of a scorpion stinger, which is a little bit like a pointed bulb. Um, that's basically it. Thanks for looking.